Right, welcome back to Rise to Ruins. And I'm going to be putting up a curtain wall. It's going to be a little bit more limited to begin with. Because I'm, that's as far as I can get with all that. However, I can easily push my expansion out a little bit. Because I'm always needing more things. Like a, um, a burner. Oh, I need to get a new artillery apparently. Nah, that would be a good way of a bit of range anyway. Alright, and then, like, bow towers will definitely be a thing. Wood is running a little low. Definitely need a, a bunch of um, like stone cutters to turn up. And they need cut stone, don't they? So yeah. That wall is definitely going to be a long term project. Right, the landfill is filling up already. But we still had two nights, no one's died. I think that's better than last time. We actually have boards and cut stone available. How far are we from getting that missing crystal thing up and running? Corruption, yeah, I've noticed the corruption, it's just spreading a bit with an alarming rate. Food is okay at 35, I haven't had to motivate lands yet because everybody's doing pretty well. There's a mark that food up for harvesting as well. Wood and stone are kind of holding steady. Oop, that's not the button I was trying to use. Just meteor the rock there. Look, that's just a rock. There we go, an actual radiance pool I can use. guy from until we get some um yeah and there's no real spare short spare in there but I've got it for when the next band of nomads turns up. I haven't wasted any time on something stupid like a crystal this time. Oh, bottler. The bottler was the big one last time, wasn't it? Right, that's drained. We actually have an essence supply of our own. Eh, 
done work's been done on the big wall, great wall. I've hurried that project as much as I can. This thing I don't I want to set this higher than he's ever gonna make. Before someone comes along and just like there's it down. Nice it's just like just keep making it. Make till storage would be nice. Alright. We're at 24, 24 buildings, that'll be fixed when that looks silly goes up. Upgrading the camp for the bonuses would be nice. Let's put there that as a top priority. Oh god damn it, I keep wasting his mana putting meteoring stuff. What today's name was gonna turn up? Honestly, at the moment, it's not doing that much for me. So, right, we'll wait till the nomads come in. We'll see who we get, and then we will build off that. Oh, we got a doggo. I promised at least one guy to the um, the maintenance department. So we'll get a maintenance guy. We're gonna need somebody on the old crystal -y. Okay, an elder. Time to build another house, I think. Oop, oh, that was not the one I was trying to click on. Oh, I'm out of building slots, so the ancillary needs to go up to top priority. Actually, that's going to be there, isn't it? There we go, finish that off for me. More housing though. Right. I also tell them to harvest the hell out of this crystal. Right, 
might need a tool maker at some point, but yeah. Everything's moving along nicely. More towers though. We're gonna hit that point now. Right. More housing down there. Make that top priority and then we're gonna go defensive. I'm going to just check the curtain wall. I think only ballista bolts can fire over the curtain wall. Only ballista towers can fire. So if we make our next towers, a pair of ballista towers here and here, they'll be able to shoot over the curtain wall that's going up. We are needing a few more of them. Um, I've got no one to take. We need more builders, but we've got no one to take. lower on towers than I did last time and I'm getting a little bit worried by it. Right, the curtain wall's now bottom priority. That should be top priority because that's literally just finishing it off. is something I've not really done worked on before so Rose and diggings made the way make us shack right right here come the monsters damage has been repaired from last night. And a lot of these guys are going down already. Let's switch from that to much like a lightning bolt. Too bad though. Once these blister towers up, I can start building it much better and the curtain wall. Which can now extend all the way down to there. Even though it's gonna drain a block to do it. Definitely need to focus on getting these blister towers up and a few more defences around the gate. Oh yeah, that's also what I was going to do. Curtain wall in there because it's going to annoy me otherwise. I'm smashing up my crystal harvestry, which is a bit annoying. Okay, 
it's just outside range of the um, bow towers. for that one, okay. Yes, yeah, so those are about to come top priority next to our housing is solved. Although upgrading it wouldn't hurt. I'm gonna have to trade the an organizer for crystal harvester. I just have to. It hurts, but I have to. some defences until the main golems up. Yep, food's looking good. Boards, cut stone, all the other resources are looking good. Plenty of water, just about enough essence, but yeah, I'm not actually using that much at the moment. And daytime's arrived. We're actually well over our food storage as well. I think we might need a food storage. That fits in neatly there. I don't know what the penalty for being over storage is. God can help by giving them all the stone. Right. Make sure these are now top priority. He's repairing them, that's good. Excellent. Yeah, everything seems to be going pretty well. Resources are looking good, I'm a little lax on defence, but that can be sorted today. It won't take them too long once they actually get their asses into gear. I'd like more organisers, so hopefully we'll get a nice little migrant wave today. Yeah, 
I feel like I've learned a lot from the last one. Let's drain out these things. Let's get the cut stone in there. And we have that cut stone. We have plenty of cut stone, it's just not getting to where it's needed. some point for the food. Oh the food stockpile is looking pretty good still. Yeah if someone would like to move some of this cut stone into there that would be amazing. spreading fast. Definitely have to put some um, lights down in a bit. When the power's off I'll put some lights out. Just try and push as far out as I can. So we'll get some light into that thing anyway. So we just need the cut stone, which we've got plenty of, we just need it moving in. Anyway, that's about it for me, I'll see you next time.